and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel guys. We said before the game this was a massive game for Ronald Koeman. Before this international break he needed to end it with a win. And Barcelona, we've not only got the job done but we've scored five goals in the process. But once again we're sitting here saying it could have been many more. We're going to be talking today about the game from Griezmann that had every single emotion that you can imagine. And also, the fact Lionel Messi is off the mark from open play. It's all coming up in the match review. Let's get to it. This one was entertaining. But if we start first and foremost with the lineup that Ronald Koeman elected to head into this game with, and like I say, given the fact that it was such an important game, I was incredibly surprised, as I think we all were, that Lionel Messi was not in the starting lineup. Now, we still don't know exactly why that was. Rumours were saying that he had a bit of an ankle problem and he was left out as a precaution, but the fact, again, that he came on, maybe that wasn't true, maybe it was just a rest, but again, it was surprising that he was rested in this game as opposed to the game against Dinamo, but Griezmann, Dembele and Ansu Fati started in what I would say was more today of a 4-3-3 shape from Ronald Koeman, especially there when we were in possession of the ball. And I also have to say, the way that Barcelona started the game, it was excellent. There was real pace about our play, we were moving the ball quickly, we were looking to get at Betis as quickly and as crisply as we possibly could. There was really good pressing from the front, and very, very early on, we were creating some good chances and we we were looking in good, good shape, and that was really, really nice to see. And I want us to talk first of all about Usman Dembele's goal. Of course, this came after a few missed chances from Barcelona, but I want to talk about this before we go on to what happened in the rest of that half, because the goal to open the scoring from Dembele, it was superb. It was absolutely brilliant play from Dembele. 22 minutes in, Griezmann there finds him out on the right-hand side, and what you'll notice there about Dembele's positioning is that he's holding his width. He's making sure there that he's holding wider, Betis are defended narrow, therefore he gets that space, and when he gets the ball once again, he enters the area, and what we see is that little fake shot, that little shimmy inside there, he just cuts in onto his left foot, and this is the key here, he doesn't even give the chance, and especially the goalkeeper, time to set themselves, he does it so, so quickly there, cutting onto that left, and then immediately unleashing the shot, and what a goal it was, that was an absolute pile driver from Dembele, power, accuracy, brilliant, brilliant goal that it was. I was so, so happy for him, and it was a crucial goal on the day for Barcelona. We had the lead. What then followed, and what was the theme right throughout that half, was what we've been seeing for many, many weeks in Barcelona. It was good play, we were good going forward, there were some excellent moves in there, and there truly, truly was, but... Where was the finishing touch? And in particular, the man you'd look to was Antoine Griezmann. And it's so, so difficult because actually in that first half, I thought Griezmann was good. And that may surprise some people, but I thought he was getting on the ball. He was looking energetic. He was looking actually quite confident until he got to the final finish. He was doing everything right until it came to putting that ball in the back of the net. You look at the first chance that he misses there. It's a good chance early on in the game. He gets it on that left foot and he fires it wide of the post. It was close but not close enough. And then there was another moment there in that first half. Again, Griezmann showing the confidence that he had. He picked the ball up pretty much just inside the Betis half. He carried the ball for the entirety there, moving towards the penalty area. And just as he gets there again, he's like a rabbit in the headlights. He hits it, looking for goal, but it just goes wide. And it was like it just wouldn't quite come for Antoine Griezmann. And there was another brilliant move as well, a magical piece of play. It was Pedri in the build-up. We had some brilliant touches, I thought, right throughout this game. Very, very silky stuff and of course his goal which we are going to talk about but it was a back heel there into the path of Griezmann and again you're saying brilliant from Griezmann he's got good positioning he makes a great run he's into a brilliant position there as you'll said to forward and he puts it wide again and you're thinking what does this man need to actually score and we all felt he deserved the goal we all wanted him to get it us as Barcelona fans here we are willing that ball to go into the back of the net and that's why when we got that penalty there and Fati makes a brilliant run he gets in front of the centre backs, it's brilliant centre forward play, he was in that nine position for the time being, he wins the penalty and Griezmann steps up and we're all just sitting there thinking please we are thinking please, please please, not only score we didn't just want him to score but we didn't want him to miss because we knew that if he missed that penalty it would not be good, it would not be good for Antoine Griezmann's confidence what did he do? Yep, 
Claudio Bravo, pretty easy save, I have to say. Down to his right-hand side. It's at a good height. I don't think Griezmann there hit the ball particularly hard. And it was a very, very weak penalty from Griezmann. And then you just knew it. And right the way through the first half, the problem was we only had a goal lead. Betis were threatening. They were playing a risky game. They were playing a high line. They were trying to go forward. But because of that, they were creating chances. Alex Moreno, right the way through the game, was brilliant down the left-hand side. They had a few chances on goal where Ter Stegen, he was called into action again. They had moments where they went close. And you just knew it only took one chance for them to get level. And just before the halftime whistle, that's exactly what they did. Again, it's that left-hand side. We struggled there defensively. It's a cutback that somehow, and I mean somehow, makes its way into the middle of the penalty area because Pique doesn't deal with it. Longley doesn't deal with it. Sergio Roberto doesn't deal with it either. Tony Sanabria is there, the former Barcelona youth player. He doesn't celebrate his goal, but he did get Betis level, and I think when you saw the pictures there of Griezmann leaving the field at halftime, Griezmann then in the tunnel before coming out for the second, you just knew that he was thinking, I had the opportunities to put my team further and further ahead, but here we are at one all, and big questions were being asked going in to that second half. However, one of the bonuses of resting or putting Lionel Messi on the bench from the start is the fact that if things aren't quite going your way, you can call upon the services of what is the best player in the world. And Messi comes on, and Messi creates magic in front of all our eyes. And it didn't take him long. Just four minutes he was on the field. There was some good play out on the left-hand side. Jordi Alba there playing a low ball across the box. And it's just wonderful. This is Lionel Messi in one move. If you had to describe Messi's genius, you'd point to this because he affects the game without even touching the ball. He doesn't even touch it. This doesn't even go down as a Messi assist. But it's unbelievable. What other player here could make that run, first of all, drag the two defenders, draw the goalkeeper, and then be aware of what's happening behind him and just step over it? Just dummy it in that kind of way. It was absolute art from Lionel Messi. In behind him comes Griezmann. And it was the perfect chance. It was the perfect moment. Even Griezmann, with the net open there, he was thinking, thank you. Thank you, Leo. I will take my goal. I will grab that with both hands. And you can see from the celebrations, clear smiles on the faces, relief, I'm sure, for Griezmann. He got the goal that he did deserve, but it was courtesy of that brilliant, brilliant move from Lionel Messi. And then you were thinking, OK, Griezmann, he's got his goal. Barcelona are into the lead. That's all good. What we want now is Messi to get his open and play goal because that's what he deserves would he get it yes he would but first another penalty and this was probably one of the clearest penalties you'll ever see i was surprised actually the referee went across to the var monitor because griezmann actually plays in messi in the movie draws claudio bravo messi then lays it back to dembele who unleashes a shot on goal it looks as though dembele is going to score his second goal of the game but it's basically stopped on the line with an arm it's as simple as that mondi there sticks out his arm it hits it stops the ball going in Penalty given and a red card for Real Betis. And then Messi steps up. And I think actually when you see Griezmann miss penalty and how difficult Griezmann found it there from the spot, you actually appreciate the fact the penalties, they're not easy. But Messi stepped up. Bang. No mistake. No worries at all. Top right hand corner. Brilliant goal that it was. And even though Betis did get one back. And it was woeful defending. It really, really was. We're going to be talking more about this over the international break. The fact that Barcelona still are not looking good, especially on that right-hand side today. We were torn apart there by Alex Moreno. Laurent Moron came on. He got a goal back for Betis. But it was still the Lionel Messi show because he got his open play goal. It's Sergio Roberto, who defensively, I think, was at fault right throughout the game. But going forward, he really came to life in the closing stages. He back heels it in a very similar way to what Pedri did earlier on for Griezmann. Messi's in, and it's a great finish. Again, just like his penalty, it was almost as though there was a frustration there for Messi. As though he was like, you know what? Just have it. Bang! Past Claudio Bravo, he gets his open play goal into the top corner, same place that he put his penalty, and he was so close as well, just minutes after that, to getting a hat-trick, but an offside in the build-up denied him of that, but he looked really fresh, really energised when he came on, it was great to see that kind of flair from Lionel Messi, who no doubt about it, tipped the game very much in our favour, and of course that wasn't it either, because Martin Braithwaite came on, I think he was causing problems in the box there for Real Betis, there was crosses coming in and there was dangerous things 
things happening and certainly there in the final stage is a man who ran his little legs off. He really did, Pedri, but so much work in today. He was on a yellow as well. He was getting involved in some scraps, but he got his goal and it was very well deserved. Roberto again, like I say, going forward. He does a good thing there, puts the ball in the box. It's an open net for Pedri pretty much. He finishes it off and crimes Barcelona. Five goals to two. Like I say, could have been even more. But what this is, is a vital, vital victory for Ronald Koeman. A big goal and a big relief for Antoine Griezmann. And Lionel Messi showing his quality. Was it ever in doubt? Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments down below. What did you make of the game today? I think, personally, it's the best way to finish before the international break. We're going to be talking much, much more about this game. Over on More Talk FCB, yes, there will be player ratings. Those should be interesting. Go and check that out later on when I've finished. But today, for Barcelona, job well done. But until next time, as always, guys, Vizca! Yeah, I'll pass it.